Hey guys, so I am still at work right now. I haven't left to go home yet, but I just wanted to update and let you know this morning my weight was 146.4. Um, this morning I woke up with some major aches and pains. Um, I guess the best way to describe it would be like almost like arthritis or something. I don't know. Um, like my hips ached, my back ached, um, my knees ached, and my knuckle, I mean my um, ankles ached really, really bad. Um, so that was a curious thing, but you know, that's also typical for a fast. Um, it went away shortly after I woke up, like about an hour after I work, woke up. It just went away like that. My hunger is gone. It, it was crazy. It was just like, it's gone. It's not there. I'm not craving anything. So I'm definitely in detox now. Uh, my tongue, nice and white. Okay. Um... So I'm going to try to show you guys my tongue every video, like every day, uh, so you guys can see how the tongue looks, because I noticed that people didn't really show their tongue or anything. When they talked about having a white film over it, it's kind of hard to get your idea of what a white film is. Would it be thickly white to where you can't see your tongue or what? But uh, I know that there's a white film over it, um, one, because <clears throat> when this morning when I got up, I went into the mirror and I stuck my tongue out and I'm like, oh, it looks white, but I don't know if that's really the white film or not. So I took my teeth and ran it along my tongue and that white, it was like white, goopy, nasty stuff. It was definitely the toxins coming out on my tongue. Um, I also noticed that drinking hot water kind of feels a little bit better on my stomach um, when I'm getting sick of water. So, because you do get sick of eating or drinking water all the time. It's, like, just annoying and frustrating. Um, been sleepy and sluggish and slow today, but I've been feeling good. I've been feeling great. Uh, sorry if it's dark. Um, I did work today. Obviously, I'm still at work. <clears throat> I did kids club. Uh, aftercare and um, my swim lessons tonight. There was swim lessons was a lot worse than I expected it to be as far as using up my energy. It definitely used up all my energy tonight. Um, luckily, luckily I took off certain hours so that I can actually take those hours to just sleep while I'm at work. I can sleep during that time and not have to worry about anything. Um, so, for example, on Mondays and Wednesdays, normally I would have my aftercare, and I would teach swim lessons during aftercare, and then I'd have to go back and teach swim lessons right after aftercare. That sounded weird. But, um, yeah. And I talked with my supervisor. She needed to cut some people from the schedule anyway, so I said, hey, can you please just take me off Monday, Wednesday? I'd be perfectly happy with that, um, so that, that way I can just do my lesson with them. And then I can lie out on the uh, lawn chairs and sleep. Sleep for, I get an hour and a half of sleep. Um, and I already get to sleep in until 4 on Mondays and Wednesdays, which is great. I just sleep until, well not until 4, sorry. Until, um, until 2.30. But still, that's pretty late. And then from 4 to 5.30, I get an hour and a half right there. And then I have three hours of work. And then I go back home and go to bed. Now, Tuesdays and Thursdays are the days where I get a little bit worried. Um, <clears throat> because I work from 10 in the morning till 9 at night on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I, obviously, that's too much energy to spend, so that's why I asked for them to take off, take me off of the Make a Splash hours. 
uh, because they already have five other people on schedule anyway. Um, which is well enough people, it's definitely enough people to do the skills, um, and it's just this session. So, they said that's fine, so that gives me another hour and a half to sleep during that time. So I do my morning lesson, which is like, I think it's an hour and a half lesson or so, 10 to 11.20 or something like that. So, yeah, about an hour and a half of a lesson, and then I take a nap. Um, until about quarter after one, and then, uh, I clock in for Kids Club, and guess what? It's Arts and Crafts on Tuesdays, and on Thursdays, it's tennis, so during tennis, I can actually just relax for a moment, and just kind of do what I gotta do as far as what the instructor tells me to do. It's not like I have to run or anything, I just stand there or sit there. So, I get to rest during Kids Club on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I don't have to do a lot of standing or anything. I just rest and relax. Um, even though my eyes aren't closed, obviously. But then after that, I have um, swim lessons again for about three hours. So um, I'm hoping that maybe on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I can leave about half an hour earlier on those days and just take a, an hour nap or a half hour nap at least, um, and then do my three hour lesson and then go home and go to bed. So I do have a pretty good plan. I'm not really going to spend that much energy today. I definitely overdid it with energy. Tomorrow I'm hoping I don't overdo it with energy. It is the first night. Um, I didn't think the first night of lessons would actually take as much energy as every other night, but I just realized how much more energy I actually use on the first night just going over rules and uh, testing and song, introducing the songs to my bubblers, which are the parent and child aquatics class. Sorry for all the shakiness on my phone. I mean, I record all my videos on my Android, so, um, cause I don't have an actual camera, but, <clears throat> um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, uh, other than that, all other than the fact that I feel really tired, I'm not exhausted right now for whatever reason. Um, probably because my body probably took some muscle today from too much energy being taken out. Um, oh, I was on the verge of passing out during the last class. That's when I was like so grateful that on Mondays and Wednesdays I'm not going to be doing kids club anymore. I'm just going to be doing the lesson, take a nap evening work, and go back to bed. So I'm only going to be up for, you know, three hours at a time, tops. So Tuesdays I'm up for like, I don't know, two hours, then sleep again, and then, um, then I'm up b Tuesdays and Thursdays, then I'm up for most of the day, but not a whole lot of movement until the evening. Then I do a lot of movement it's not a whole lot of movement, but it is a lot of movement. Um, I'm going to kind of take full advantage of my aides, um, my assistants, uh, during this time. I'm going to have them doing most of the water work and all that, um, being in the water and whatnot for any class that needs somebody to be in the water because of the energy. I'm just going to have to be on the edge and sitting um, a lot while I'm doing my instructions. So that's that. I just thought I'd let you guys know, 146.4, uh, tongue is getting white, uh, okay, um, or at least it is white or whatever, I don't know how white it gets, um, honestly, I've never gone past five days before, so, tomorrow will be my fifth day, um, so yeah, I'm excited to get past that fifth day, because I've never gone past that day before, um, <clears throat> and I hadn't break, I didn't break the, uh, fast correctly last time, so I just really hope that everything goes well and that I can go through with the full 21 days. Um, so yeah, I got some more of my water here. I had, so far I had about two liters of water today. I haven't really been as thirsty as usual. Um, yesterday I only had about, 
a liter and three quarters. <clears throat> so that was, and, but yet my, my urine was, um, it was fairly clear. So, I mean, it wasn't clear, clear or anything. I mean, there was definitely a little bit of yellow, but it was, it wasn't as bad as it is when I don't have enough water. Um, but even when I've been drinking a gallon and even more than a gallon sometimes, oops, <sighs> I dropped my water, even more than a gallon sometimes, I still have that light yellow tint, so I don't know about that. Oh, and I also started my, um, I also started my period today and... I actually saw in someone else's video, like I started it five days early and <clears throat> I saw in someone else's video that she started hers five days early. I think it was sweet P eight, eight, eight T. I don't know how to like, if there's any way to say it or something, but, um, you can see her, she did a, a 28 day fast. So, um, <clears throat> but yeah, and the surprising thing, and very pleasantly surprising, normally when I start my period, I have terrible cramping, like contractions cramping. That's how bad they are. Um, my doctor even said that they're, they're like contractions. Uh, so